Man, the Naked and Famous Denim YouTube channel is amazing. I'm so glad that I tune in live every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. They show off the best stuff, man. These guys are great. Bayzat and Risa, I just love them. Hey, Bayzat. What the? Hey, what are you doing in my house? Can you show us Paul Winter 22 collection? Yeah, but you might have to explain what you're doing here. Let me take you for a tour of the brand new fall winter 2022 denim options. And we'll start off with this guy right here. This is the brand new blanket lined denim. Now this is a 14 and a half ounce denim, indigo indigo on the outside with a blanket lined interior, a vintage style blanket lined interior on the inside. Now you'll see this type of uh, pattern, this material, usually in a lot of older denim jackets, 60s, 70s era. And, you know, we call it a blanket line, but this actually isn't blanket lined. This is actually a double weave fabric. So it has warp weft, warp weft, and then it's bound together at these binding points. You can see these little spots throughout the fabric. And that means you have two layers of fabric. So if you ever have, uh, you know, if you ever break through the front layer, you'll, you know, you, you, you rip through it or whatever, you'll, you'll see the blanket line on the inside. So it'll actually fade quite neatly as you destroy it. So you've got two layers of fabric to work through if you're gonna fade these out. And uh, it makes for a very, very cozy denim because it's got that blanket inside and it's kind of dense. It's like wearing a, a blanket on a cold winter night. It's gonna be really nice for those, uh, those colder days. And uh, finished off, we've got uh, the brown leather patch on the back. You've got the black mil spec non-reflective buttons here for uh, buttons and rivets on the for the hardware and uh, black pocket bags on the inside. So that is the new blanket lined denim. Up next, we've got another 14 ounce denim option in the comfort world. This is the blue comfort denim. This is a heavier weight denim, 14 ounces, 89% cotton, 11% stretch, and it has this really incredible stretch recovery. So it snaps back to shape every time, stretches with you as you need, and always comes back to shape. Now this is great for people who want that, you know, classic denim feel. They want a fabric that's, you know, tangible and dense, but they need it to be performance. You know, they don't wanna worry about breaking in their jeans too much. These are gonna be comfortable right away. They've got that great stretch. It's gonna, because of the stretch, it actually fits, you know, it'll actually, as, as you know, some of us are getting older, we might expand a little bit. So you can expect the jeans to expand with you just a little bit more. Uh, so you might get a little bit more life out of the jeans as well. And you can expect these to fade just like your classic pair of raw denim jeans. So uh, a lot of people think that just because they're stretching a the denim that uh, your jeans aren't gonna fade. That's completely false. Um, you know, the stretch is on the weft and the warp yarns, which are the outside yarns, are where the indigo is. So it's always the outside of the denim that is gonna fade anyway. So uh, that you can, that's a bad misconception anyways. Uh, classic indigo outside, white on the inside. You can see that here. Sorry, maybe it moves it too quickly. Um, you've got uh, the brown leather patch on the back and then you've got the silver metallic hardware here on the uh, buttons and the rivets. Okay, and that is the Blue Comfort Denim 14 ounce performance stretch denim. Up next we have the Blue Smoke Stretch Salvage. Now, this is a little bit lighter weight, coming in at 11 ounces, and when you take a look at this fabric first, you might think it's black, but it's actually a very, very deep shade of blue. And what's really neat about it is that as this jean fades, it'll start to get uh, lighter and lighter, more electric blues are gonna show out, so you start off with a really, really dark tone denim that'll end up being a very bright, uh, you know, exaggerated color. And what's an, a, another neat feature about this jean is we used a lot of black hardware and black detailing on it. So black stitching, black suede leather patch. So it looks very stealthy, but as the jeans fade, this will become more and more contrast. So it goes from basically being a tonal stitch denim to a contrast stitch denim over time. You've got the matching mil spec non-reflective black uh, blacked out hardware, black pocket bags on the inside, and uh, you've got this black selvage ticker on the uh, on the selvage ID. You know, indigo. Oh, sorry, indigo by white looks like black will fade to bright blue. That is the blue smoke stretch selvage. Now, next we have the Katechu denim. Now, the only problem is that the sample didn't, we didn't get the sample fabric in time, so you're gonna have to use a little bit of your imagination here. Now, this is a 12 ounce denim. It's actually quite rigid. 
Um, so it has that classic raw denim look and feel. It's made with a short slub uh, yarn. So you can see that it's got a lot of high and low points throughout the fabric. And you can see a lot of that weft, that weft color, that white weft color peeking through the front face of the fabric. Now for production, it's actually gonna be the weft is actually gonna be this brown earth tone. Now this is a Katechu dye. This is a dye that is made from wood bark. And it's a natural dye that was, well, supposed to be made on this sample. So you'll you'll have a denim that is gonna be a little bit more warm and earthy tone. So if you remember things like the turmeric selvage or the uh, the Huntsman stretch, uh, the Huntsman selvage, it had that warm tone to it. This is in the same line as that with this natural tone. I wish, the, the sampling had come out in time, but uh, you know we'll, we'll eventually have to post photos. I'm sure you can use your imagination a little bit here. And uh, we've got that matching Katechu Selvage ID here on the back. So if you like warmer denims, earth tone denims, this is gonna be a great option for you. We've had a lot of success with those in the past. So uh, I'm very excited for this one. I'm just hoping that we get the proper sampling soon. And uh, just to go over some of the details, we've got that uh, rough out suede leather patch here on the back and we have the silver metallic hardware here on the front. So that is the Katechu denim. Sampling is not right, but hopefully we'll get the sampling ready uh, for you sooner than later. Check that out there. Okay, next we have probably, oh, also, uh, I almost forgot, the Katechu denim will also be available in a denim jacket form. So the next uh, four jeans, including this one that I'm gonna show you, will all have denim jacket options. So Katechu denim, Katechu denim jacket. Next we have the Elephant 11. And now this is definitely our, our biggest fan favorite jean that we put out every fall. And this time, it, well, it's the 11th edition, 12th edition, depends on how you wanna count, but uh, Elephant 11 is what we're calling it. This is a 20 ounce super heavyweight denim. And it looks kind of interesting when you when you first, I mean, it looks very interesting to me, but when you first take a look at this fabric, you'll see that, you know, you can kind of see a little bit of the white showing through the twill lines of the fabric. You cannot see the white showing through the twill lines of the fabric. What's going on here? Well, this is the Elephant, Elephant 11 Grandrel. And Grandrel yarns are yarns that are mixed together of two different colors and for on the inside, and on the inside, we've got this mix of white and black. So you've got a denim that is all like indigo by white and indigo by black at the same time. Red line salvage ID here, of course. Uh, so you've got this kind of crazy uh, static looking interior. And on the outside, you've got this mix of both indigo by white and indigo by black. It should make for some incredible fading jeans. It's the uh, elephant five construction. So we mixed it up with the super slubby, uh, super slubby warp yarns, low tension weaving, grandrel yarn. It's a mix of a lot of great stuff. Super thick veg tan leather patch here on the back as well. And you've got the silver metallic hardware here. And like I said, this one does come in denim jacket form. So if you want to go full on denim heavyweight armor, you can do that uh, with the denim jacket. So you've got two options here in the Elephant 11 Grand Drill. Okay, up next we have the Firebird Selvage. Now this is a 15 ounce heavier weight denim with a super slubby warp. But what's neat about this fabric is its uniform feel and tech and texture. Usually when you get a slubby denim like this, it has a lot of 3D bumps to it. So as it fades, you'll get all these like nubs and like, you know, bumps throughout the fabric, but but not on this one. The samphorization process really smoothed this fabric out. So you get that flamey uh, slubby look without the texture. Uh, it's a great mix of like clean and rough at the same time. On the inside, you can see just how low tension the uh, the fabric was woven at. You can see it's very, very irregular throughout. That's the mix of low tension weaving, slub yarns, samphorization to smooth out the fabric. You've got that classic red line selvage ID here as well. On the back, you've got the thick buffalo leather patch, contrast stitching, You've got the uh, copper hardware here. And like I mentioned, it does come in the denim jacket. So if you want to complete the outfit or if you just want to enjoy uh, it as a denim jacket or jeans or, or both, you can do that here as well. And that is the brand new Firebird Selvage. 
And uh, the next one, this one's pretty cool. This is the Japan, Japan Heritage Kasuri. 14 and a half ounce weight, dark indigo on the outside. And you can see it's kind of got uh, something going on here. You can see some of this color peeking through the front face of the fabric. But when you look on the inside, you can really tell what's going on here. And that is this multicolored yarn interior. So we've basically got a color party happening here on the inside. You can see that selvage ID is really neat as well. It's very irregular. It's got the pink line throughout the, through, through there. Uh, so it's got that kind of vintage feel. But this colorful yarn is really what makes this happen. So this is Kasuri dyed. And if you can take a look at this, this is the yarn itself. It's a single strand of yarn that is dyed with many, many different colors in a gradient tone. So you can see the colors change throughout and it's not the use of multiple colored uh, yarns, it's the use of a single multicolored yarn that makes this fabric so special. So this is the Kasuri Japan Heritage you know, usually this is a, you know, it's, it's kind of a mix of like our hardcore fading options. And we've done a couple different variations in the past, but never something quite as colorful as this. The colors are really, really beautiful here. And uh, I think this is going to make for a very interesting fading jean. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, you've got the veg tan leather patch here on the back as well. That's going to patina and age quite nicely with time. You've got the silver metallic hardware. I showed off the selvage ID, but let's take another look at it because I think it's, uh, I think it's quite beautiful here. And that one also is available in the denim jacket. So you've got uh, two ways to enjoy this fabric. Okay. All right, let me just uh, reset this jean right here. Next up, we've got a, uh, a twist on a classic. So the left-hand twill selvage is perhaps one of our best selling jeans of all time ever. We've been selling this jean for almost a decade now. Very, very popular. We run it in practically everything. So we wanted to play around with the left hand twill a little bit and we wanted to use that as kind of an education tool. So this here is the offshoot left hand twill selvage. It's basically the left hand twill warp and weft, but in a broken twill construction. So a left hand twill construction is a directional twill. You can take a look on the inside. You can see here, you can see on the outside, you can see the twill direction starts at the top left, goes to the bottom right. You can see on the inside, you can, it's a little bit easier to see on the inside because you can see the twill direction moving in a diagonal fashion. But with broken twill denim, you don't get that at all. Broken twill is kind of a mix of left hand twill and right hand twill denim at the same time. So when you take a look at the fabric, you can see that you can't really see a twill direction on the outside and on the inside, it kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like static. You can see it's more zigzaggy throughout the fabric here. So this is a different way to experience the left hand twill warp. You will be able to compare and show people, you know, this is the way a left hand twill denim fades. This is the way a broken twill denim fades because we're using the exact same warp and weft yarns just in a different construction. And you can see just by doing that, just how different the denim looks already. So this is going to be a fun way to experience a classic in a new way with the left hand twill, the offshoot broken twill selvage. You've got the brown leather patch. You've got the contrast stitching. You've got the uh, silver metallic hardware here as well. So that is the offshoot. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this one because I think it's a great way to experience a classic. It's a great educational tool for those people who are really deep into raw denim and they want to be able to see, oh, I wonder how this fabric would fade if it was made like this. Well, now you're going to have an opportunity to see that. Uh, up next, we've got the, uh, what do we call this one again? I forgot. Pure blue. Oh, that's right. Too many names in my head. This is the Plur, Plur, Pure Blue Stretch Selvage. This is a 12 and a half ounce Japanese stretch selvage denim. Everything's Japanese selvage denim, or everything is Japanese made, by the way. If I didn't, if I didn't mention that before, just know that all the fabrics that we use are always made in Japan. Now, 12 and a half ounce weight, pure blue stretch selvage. I call it the pure blue because this is made with a pure indigo dye. This is a, a uh, chemically perfect indigo dye, and you can see it's got this great blue tone to it. It's also got this natural uh, colored cotton interior. So it's a great mix of, 
uh, this great blue color with this slubby uh, yarn with that natural color coming through. And my cat is just, we'll get a close up on Snowy there. <laughs> Snowy here wants to get in on the video. That's okay, he's excited for some jeans too. So anyways, back to the jeans, back to the action. Slub stretch denim. You've got a great mix of texture with comfort. It's got 2% stretch here on the weft, so it'll stretch a little bit. It's not a crazy amount of stretch, so it's not like the uh, the uh, blue comfort denim. This is gonna require a little bit of break in time for that stretch to activate. When you wash it, it activates right away. It's a great mid blue color with that warm uh, interior weft showing through the front face of the fabric. You've got that brown leather patch here on the back. Contrast stitching. You've got the silver metallic hardware, and uh, let's take a look at that Sovich ID. So it's real vintage style with that natural colored kind of cotton with the red line ticker here. And I really love that interior warm color. It really show, shines through the front face. It gives the denim a uh, kind of a nice old school feel um, with this perfect blue uh, stretch Sovich, perfect blue. All right, up next, we've got the raw cotton canvas. We've got two options here in this olive and this khaki color. Now, these are very, very workwear kind of inspired colors. I really, really like these fabrics. Now, it's the same fabric. Both are 14 ounces. And for a canvas, it is just nice and slubby. It's got all this texture throughout the fabric and it's gonna wear great. The fabric is actually very rigid. As you can see here, it doesn't really have too much of a drape to it at all. It's gonna break in nicely. And for the fall, this is a great indigo alternative. Both colors here are really like earthy, warm tone color options that I think are gonna pair very nicely, uh, especially with boots. I think black or brown boots, like we got a lot, we got a lot of fans in the boot wear, the, like the boot uh, enthusiast community, and I think these are going to go over well very nicely. Now, just note that these are non selvage fabrics, so uh, no selvage on these. But uh, regardless, it is still a great workwear option. Heavyweight, great texture, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. That is the raw cotton canvas. Next, we have the red gradient core, and now I don't. I don't have a faded example of this just yet, but uh, I will show you the uh, the lab, uh, what's going on in the lab and basically why this is red gradient core. So our, our color core series is perhaps one of our most popular series that we have uh, ongoing series of uh, denim fabrics. Now it's indigo denim that will fade to a different color. And for this one, we chose red and red has been historically one of our most uh, popular color options for our color core series, but we didn't just want to do red again. So this time we did something called red gradient. And instead of using one color of red, we use the multiple colors of red throughout these, this fabric. So basically they reactive dyed red, a bunch of different shades of red, and then rope dyed on top. So you get a red center core yarn with layer and layer and layer of indigo. So as this jean fades, not only will it fade to red, it'll also fade to a variety of red colors red gradient core salvage. You've got the pull up uh, red leather patch here as well. Contrast stitching. You've got the uh, silver metallic hardware and red line salvage ID. Nope, on this side right here. So that is the red gradient core salvage. And last but not least in denim land, we have the scratch and sniff. Now, scratch and sniff is one of those things that put naked and famous denim on the map. You know, we love doing fun and weird and out there jeans. And we've done a couple of scratch and sniff options before, but we haven't done it in a long time. So for those people who are newer to naked and famous denim, they, they might've heard about it, but they've never seen it before. And this is the Heba wood. Uh, scratch and sniff denim. Now, Hiba wood is a type of uh, cypress tree from uh, Northern Japan, Aomori. And when you scratch the fabric, I wish you had, I wish we had smell vision You can smell, I mean, you can't really smell it, but anyways, that's how you scratch it. Uh, uh, you get this really beautiful fragrance, very relaxing fragrance. This is kind of a, the thing, if you ever go to a Japanese onsen, this is the kind of thing that you're gonna smell. So it's a very relaxing feeling. And uh, it's got this, anyways, 
uh, red line, Savage ID, dark indigo, white web. So classic look, but it's got this beautiful scent to it. So even if, you, as, if your jeans start to stink a little bit, you know, you can scratch it. It's also a great party trick. You know, hey, my jeans smell a little bit funny. It's, it's uh, you know, I think it's a fun jean. It's a fun way to enjoy raw denim, uh, especially because, you know, with raw denim, we're always encouraged not to wash, not to wash, not to wash. Well, you know what? You still don't have to wash it. You can if you want to, but uh, at least my jeans are gonna smell nice. And uh, we've got it paired up here with the veg tan leather patch. So that's gonna age and patina nicely as well. We've got the silver metallic hardware here on the inside. Like I said before, indigo by white, 12 and a half ounce weight. So a very classic weight, classic denim, but you know, a fun, really kind of novel way to enjoy raw denim with the uh, Japanese uh, Hiba scented scratch and sniff denim. There you have it. And uh, we have two work pan options that are new and I'm a really, really big fan of this fabric. If you watch me on the live streams uh, that we do every week on Friday, um, Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern that is, uh, I've already showcased these fabrics, but this is our retro workwear twill. Now this is a repro of old school uh, Coca-Cola uniform. So basically, uh, I forget what era it's from. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up, I'll put it you know, in the notes here somewhere. But uh, a vintage Japanese Coca-Cola uniform was reproduced here. You've got this herringbone twill and uh, you've got this green pinstripe here on the, on the outside. It also comes in this gray and red. So you've got two great color options here. And uh, so you can enjoy them as work pants. We also have them in the work shirt, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And that's all the new denim fabrics and bottom fabrics we have for fall, winter 22. Uh, I'm gonna take a drink of water and I'll be back to show you all the tops. See you in a second. All right, I'm gonna take you for a tour of the brand new Fall Winter 2022 shirt options. And I'm gonna start off with this one right here, which is the new lightweight chambray. But first, let's take a look at the new, uh, new labels that we have on all of our shirts, this new vintage style all color label. All right, now this is the new lightweight chambray coming in at five ounces. Now this is something that I think basically everybody needs in their wardrobe, a classic kind of denim style shirt, this great light blue, works for practically all seasons, whether you're gonna wear this spring, summer or fall, winter. Uh, especially great to pair up with jeans. So that's the new lightweight chambray. We have the new botanical print. Now this is something that we, we do pretty much every season, just a different variation of it. Lightweight and airy with this beautiful botanical print on the outside, all over print. It's gonna be great for holidays. Uh, whether you've got a holiday party or you're going on a holiday, this is gonna be a great option for you. Uh, next, a little bit more classic. This is uh, our new basic Oxford cotton shirts. Now this is something that we used to do a lot of in the early days of Naked and Famous Denim. Comes in the three colors here. Uh, I've been recently getting into, you know, basic Oxford colors myself. Just, you know, kind of dressing a little bit more classic as I'm getting a little bit uh, grayer uh, with time. And I think as uh, some of our customers and fans uh, have been growing up with us, you know, as we get a little bit older, I think uh, getting into, you know, a lot more classic, uh, menswear stuff is, you know, kind of a more and more appropriate. So a lot more basic Oxford shirts are going to be coming from us down the road. Great to wear with a pair of jeans, great to layer with a sweatshirt. Very, very versatile. And uh, you've got that classic sports collar, uh, button down collar here as well. So uh, three, three basic Oxfords to start, more coming down the road, but we've got a lot of great options here uh, that I'm about to show you. Starting with one of my favorite groupings here, our new vintage flannel options. Now we're known for doing a lot of great heavyweight soft flannels and we've got four great color options here for you as well. You've got that, that rust and mint color and uh, it, I think the color combinations are really fantastic here. The earth tones here, you've got this winter gray here and uh, this kind of houndstooth uh, 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 pattern here on with the red and the beige. I really, really like this one. All very vintage styled loose weave, uh, brushed, soft, fantastic for the cold winter months. Next, we've got our kimono prints. Something that, again, that we do every season. We, we try to mix up the prints uh, every season. So we've got three different colors here. You've got uh, black with the white, you've got navy, and you've got the indigo. Now the indigo is very, very dark. It looks almost black, but uh, when you see it next to the blue, you can really tell that it is uh, a little bit more of a darker toned shade of indigo. So three color options here in the kimono prints. 
This is a really cool fabric. This one you're gonna have to get really up close to to really appreciate. It kind of looks like a corduroy. It's got this great rib texture throughout with this discharge kind of mid-century print on top. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of this fabric. Looks really, really neat. I love the way the texture works with this fabric. Now, back into kind of retro style, we've got this uh, diamond kind of dots print on these two. Now these are lighter weight, airier fabrics. Very, very comfortable. And I think these work really well with jeans. They kind of give me a little bit of a Western vibe as well. But uh, yeah, these are uh, two different color options. Very, very light and airy. Next, this shirt is really cool. This is a real indigo dyed flannel. And what I love about this shirt is that it really reminds me of selvage denim a lot. You've got that red line kind of very faintly running through the fabric here with all these different shades of blue. And over time, because this is dyed with real indigo, it will fade like, like a pair of jeans. So the more you wear, the more you wash it, uh, this shirt is gonna age with you. And that's the real indigo dyed flannel. Next, we have our soft brushed twills here. Now, this is something that we run every fall it's similar in line to like the basic Oxfords, but uh, obviously they're brushed and they're a lot softer. Um, these are gonna be really nice for the fall. I've been wearing a, a, these myself a lot this past uh, fall. It's been uh, kind of cold and uh, it's a great piece to layer up with brushed on the outside, very, very soft. Okay, up next we've got the tie dye. All over print tie dye. It's not real tie dye, but it is printed like that. And this is gonna be a fun layering option. I think even if you wear this with like a hoodie or a sweatshirt on top, and you just have these colors kind of peeking through, or you know, matched up with a blazer too. But uh, I, I think it's nice to have these kind of wild pattern just being a, a little bit of an accent uh, layered with something else. So, uh, two great all over print options here. Next, I was uh, talking about denim shirts earlier. These are repeat items. So this is the uh, the Nepi denim shirt, and we have that in the indigo, and then we also have it here in the black. So these are repeat options that came out first uh, for fall winter 21. They're coming back for fall winter 22. They were very, very popular. We're gonna see these in a couple of different options as well. So it's first up in the easy shirt. Okay, um, and well, I'll just, get into it. Uh, you'll also see them in the kimono shirt. So you've got that indigo and you've got the black as well. Uh, and the new kimono shirts are here. So we've got, uh, the kimono shirts are, are made with, you know, the fabrics that we run in the easy shirt line. Uh, so we've got that lightweight chambray. We've got the blanket line denim. So that was something that you found in the denim collection from uh, the, the for this season. So uh, indigo, indigo, uh, exterior warp, blanket lined weft, double weaved and uh, woven together. So that's a, a nice heavier weight uh, kimono shirt. You've got the kimono print arrows in the indigo, and then you've got this great mid-century uh, uh, print here on the uh, kind of corduroy looking textured fabric. Okay. Next, we have the new work shirts, and I'm wearing a work shirt right now. One thing that you'll note about the upcoming season of work shirts for Fall Winter 22 is this new cross back paneling we have on the back. So we just added a little bit more detail here, which I think makes our work shirts even nicer than they were before. I was a big fan, I wore them a lot. I still wear them a lot. And we have it in this great uh, vintage flannel here in this earth tone. You've got it in the green and you've got it in the gray here. So this is a nice little group uh, family grouping here. Same fabric base, different color options. And again, that really, really nice cross paneling design here on the back. And uh, well, we've got uh, the Coca-Cola uniform, this retro vintage twill fabric here in the pink with the green. I'm going to be wearing this one personally quite a lot. I'm a very, very big fan of this. And then we also have it in the red and the gray. Then we have the uh, the denim again. So that uh, I don't have it in the I don't have the sample of it here, but the uh, the neppy denim uh, the neppy denim that we have in the kimono shirt and the easy shirt will also be available in the work shirt. 
Uh, the black version is also available here in the workshop. This is the old sample, so it doesn't have that cross paneling, but uh, it will be available again. Uh, and then another repeat, repeat is the 100% cotton Melton. So the heavyweight Melton shirts that we ran for fall, winter 20 are coming back. These were very, very popular. This is the old sample. So again, it doesn't have that cross paneling on the back, but it, this is gonna come in three colors. So you've got that earth tone green, you've got that camel, and then you've got the charcoal here as well. Oh, oh and we're gonna do black. Sorry, we're gonna do a fourth one. Uh, so there'll be four color options here. You'll see it. Uh, so four color options in the heavyweight 100% cotton Melton. Uh, and then we have a new fit. Um, now the fit sample isn't quite complete. We just, uh, we're, we're still working out some of the kinks, but this is the new zip chore coat. I'll put it on here. You can see that the, the zipper is a little bit short. It should be a little bit longer for production. We will have that taken care of. And uh, you can see here, it is a great layering piece, a great jacket for the fall. We've got these welt pockets here on the side. It's triple stitched practically everywhere for uh, extra durable construction. We'll have the full length zipper here on the front. This is done in the blanket lined denim. Now we'll have two blanket lined denim options. This is the Indigo Indigo. We'll have it also in the Indigo by White. And we will also have it in the left hand twill. So we'll have a denim option, the blanket lined option, and then the indigo indigo blanket lined option. Now I'm a big fan of this jacket. We haven't done uh, zip coats in a while. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, having this one. So for production, it'll go all the way up to the top here. So just keep that in mind. That is the new zip chore coat. And last but not least, we have the new uh, smart jacket options in the raw cotton slub uh, 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 canvases. So you've got the earth tone green and you've got this nice uh, khaki color here as well. So two color options in the collarless smart jacket. And now it's not last but not least, but of course every season we do a very big collection of pocket tees. Now these are very popular for us and the pocket tees are our circular knit tees with uh, corresponding, uh, you know, contrast pockets. Now the pockets we, we use are from the uh, shirt collection. So a lot of these things you're going to recognize here. And uh, these sell out so fast every season. We, we actually have a hard time keeping them on the shelf. So uh, thank you so much for your support with these. I, I wear these quite a lot myself and uh, I can see why people love them. I mean, I love them and uh, they sell really well. So what's not to like? 100% um, cotton uh, and circular knit. Uh, tees, the t-shirts are all made in Canada, Canadian circular knit tee material, and the pockets are all the Japanese uh, uh, shirting materials that we use for the shirts. And that wraps up all the tops and bottoms for men's Fall Winter 22. Hey everybody, it's me, Risa. I'm here to show you Fall Winter 22 women's collection. Let's start with jeans. So first we got blue comfort denim. So this one is a 14 ounce uh, dark indigo denim. It's got 11% stretch. So it has a lot of stretch and the 14 ounce is a little bit heavier than our typical denim. So it's got the beefiness that keeps you warm as well. And this one also is rinse washed. So it is raw denim, but it's got the, the, the starch of the raw, raw denim out of the way. So it's very comfort. Everybody can enjoy this jeans. This one will come in high skinny, max and arrow fits. Next up, we have Perfect Blue Slug Stretch Salvage. So this one is an amazing denim. Look at the uh, texture here. So because we're using slub yarn, we have this amazing texture and irregular surface. And the warp is a mid blue color. So it's dark indigo, but it's not dark, dark indigo. It has like a little bit more of like an old school vibe to the color. And then we have the beige weft. So the weft gives you the like a warmer um, tone of the contrast here and also red line salvage. It's got 2% um, stretch, so it has the comfort as well. This one comes in all four main fits of women's collection. So high, skinny, max, arrow, and classic. 
so everybody can get into this beautiful denim. Um, next up, we have the um, scratch and sniff uh, denim. So this is the first time we're doing scratch and sniff denim in a women's collection. We've done this in men's collection uh, a few times before, but uh, this time it's Hiba smell. So Hiba is um, uh, it, it's a type of cy cypress mm -hmm. and um, it is from the northern Aomori uh, region of Japan and it is just such a nice smell. I love this smell so much. It smells very luxurious. So when you scratch the denim, you can smell the Hiba, you know, very luxurious uh, wood smell. And this one is 100% cotton, non-stretch, and it's also um, raw, raw. So it's got a little bit of crispiness. If you're into actual raw denim, uh, this is a great option. And it will come in a uh, classic as well as arrow fit. And next we have the blanket lined denim. So this one is 14 and a half ounce. So it's kind of a hefty denim, heavier weight for women's collection. And it is a double weave denim so it's got the indigo indigo dark color and the outside and inside it's got a cozy blanket look to it this one is um because it is double weave even though it's 14 and a half ounce it feels a little bit softer and more comfortable um to begin with and this one would come only in classic fit so that's it for the new fabrics for the season. But I just wanted to show you a couple of new options in the core collection. So everybody loves stretch salvage. So this one is 12 and a half ounce, classic, you know, dark indigo warp, uh, white weft with red line salvage and 2% uh, stretch. This one will now come in high skinny, max, arrow, and boyfriend. So arrow and high, high skinny is the addition to uh, additional fits for this fabric. So this one's um, added. We also adding a couple of new fabric for arrow fit. So natural indigo salvage. This one before it only came in classic fit. Now it comes in arrow fit as well. This one fades amazingly. It's got this like you know old school mid blue lighter blue option, and it's just it's a it's a classic denim um and then we also have 11 on 100 percent cotton lightweight classic dark indigo denim available in arrow too so i think the arrow is more of like a, everybody's fit it's it's you know slim a little bit slimmer than classic so it goes with a lot more outfits in my opinion and i just wanted to give more of a wider variety of options in that fit so that one's added and that's it for jeans but hold on we have more things so we have in tops we're bringing back country shirt so country shirt is the shirt that i'm wearing right now it's you know classic button down uh, with the chest pocket it's 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 a very classic shirt but i love it because it's not too skinny it's it's got like a little bit of room but it's not baggy like a boyfriend kind of fit it it makes it look the 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 outfit looks a little bit more orthodox and classic in my opinion so um we have the uh organic cotton diamond print in the indigo color and the white yeah these will go super well with like a high-rise jeans like i'm wearing right now tucked in very classic um we also have the um heavyweight br uh brushed flannel oh no it's not brushed heavyweight flannel so the, the this fabric is really uh, cozy and very uh, heavyweight so it's gonna keep you warm uh, we have the gray and then we don't have the sample but we have this uh, blue and green color option and last but not least we have the um, kimono arrow print in indigo color and classic um, wait country shirt fit 
So those are five options of country shirt in this uh, season. And we got a couple of uh, great outerwear options this season. So let's start with the um, stand collar long coat. So this one is actually a very good fit. So let me put it on. So the length is, you know, a mid cuff. I'm 5'4", 163. So it's just a, you know, long, uh, everybody would probably have the length below the knees. Um, and then this, this one is made with the blanket lined uh, denim. So it, it's got the dark indigo out, outside and then blanket lined inside and the metal button closure front but it's also when you close this it's a hidden button pocket so you don't see the buttons at all and then it's got the tight waist so you can tie it up and have the waist kind of a uh, little smaller or you can have it open and kind of casually wear this uh, open as well it's got a large uh, side pockets on both sides yeah and then you can also wear this like collar up or also down like that. Yeah. And then this one also comes in the um, indigo denim. So this one is a raw denim also. So even though it's uh, it's 10 ounce denim, so it's not that heavy weight, but it's going to keep the crisp, the crispness of the fabric keeps the shape um, really clean and cool. So that is the stand collar uh, long coat. And another jacket that we have for this season is the zip crop jacket. So this one is really my favorite. It is actually, we, we kind of struggled to get this fit right. You know, we made a few samples, but I'm really loving how it came out. Um, so it's a crop length jacket with a zip, metal zip front um, closure. And we got this like a uh, workwear style big flap pocket, a little bit slightly lower in the body. So it kind of makes it look like more of a, you know, a statement than, than the um, just like utility pocket. And then it really goes super well with the high rise jeans. You can also have the color up and kind of um, have it cozy like that. Or we can open it up. You see like a, a color here too. So yeah, this one is uh, in 100% cotton melton fabric. So the fabric is also very, very nice and thick and beautiful. It's, it's very comfortable fabric. Um, this one is the army color. It also will come in charcoal gray, as well as the rust color. So we have these, uh, yeah, new, a uh, couple of new jacket threads, which I'm very excited about. Um, just to, a quick reminder, we also have this uh, raw denim, A-line denim skirt. This one has been in the, the core collection for a while, but I just wanna remind you guys every now and then. And that is it for Fall Winter Women's Collection, Fall Winter 22 Women's Collection. All right, see you next time. All right, and that's everything for the Fall Winter 2022 collection. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you have any questions or you need to reach out to us, you know where to find us and we'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully we'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye everyone. Bye.